I'm in my Windows 7 VM, and I've actually started Cryptomatic, which is a Trojan wrapper or construction program. I actually get a user agreement here, basically. We don't need to see that anymore. And uh, I agree to it, and then we get the main box here. And just to kind of give you a tour of this, here's the icon uh, for the Trojan you're going to build. You can find another icon, and probably a good idea if you're going to do this for real. So you can uh, select an icon. File binder is very important. This is the file you're going to actually bind to it. And this could be a uh, file that you've uh, run across somewhere, or it could be a system file. And you could uh, add the file here. I'm going just to do something innocuous. I'm going to use uh, a uh, file from Windows, actually. Let's go into Windows here. And uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and find the right command. Remember, old Windows write, very simple uh, processor. So it uh, lets me decide that I want to add the new file, uh, what kind of uh, memory execution, injection, extraction, and other parameters. And uh, what kind of spread settings do I want to have on this? I think I want a USB spread, so I'm going to add the file. And uh, that's it right there. And message box. Do I want to send a message box to the user? And if I do, I can just uh, select these parameters. I'm going to select the X here and put uh, warning. And then you've been hacked. And we can also add buttons to the message box. We can say OK, yes, no, retry, cancel, whatever we want. And uh, let's test the message here. And that's what we're going to get. Warning, you've been hacked. So uh, spread settings here. And you can actually set the file name and other parameters. And uh, you have some file names in here that it has. And you can change these. But it has uh, things like Skype, LimeWire, Service Host, and so forth. And you'll notice a lot of Trojans bury themselves in things like Service Host. So you'll see multiple versions of that running on Windows sometimes. And some of those are legitimate because Service Host is just a wrapper for other services. But in some cases, a Trojan could be hiding in there. If we look at the Install Plugins tab, there's uh, different plugins here. And these are malicious payloads, basically. And uh, I selected the USB spread because I want this to spread uh, via USB device. Some other settings we have here. Compression settings, resource settings, and some of these are more complex settings. Installation settings, folder names, and so forth, where you might want to install it. You can also change startup settings. You can change the HKLM registry key, HKCU startup registry key, and so forth. I'm not going to change any of those right now. And then you have the builder itself. And this is where you actually select the file name that you want to build and create it. I'm just going to call it VTC. And uh, we can select the file extensions that we want. I'm going to go along with an exe file here. But I could choose like a screensaver, a CR file, or a COM file, or a BAT, or even a PIF. And those, some of those are older MS-DOS executable type of command extensions. So let's go ahead and stick with the exe. And uh, let's create the server here. And uh, it's going to ask me where I want to put this. So I'm going to uh, go up a little bit and go into users and I'll go into my profile here and I'm just going to call it VTC and uh, save and there it goes it's creating the file now I have a file called VTC.exe that's in my users Bobby directory and that's our Trojan there so we have several options we could do after that we could get it to the individual's computer somehow and have them execute it we could also uh, further wrap it if we wanted to. And there's some other complex things we could do to get this file over there and have it do some damage. We have an About tab here, and you can also order a professional version. So that's uh, Cryptomatic. So if we want to, let's go into uh, that uh, home directory there. And let's look in the documents here. Actually, let's go into Users, Bobby. And that's where we see it. Now let's execute it. And see what we get. An application error, uh, and it could be in the way it was built or the parameters that it was used to uh, build with it. It could be that it's running on Windows 7 also. This is a little bit of an older builder, so 
No matter, we'd have to play with a little bit to get it uh, doing what we want it to do. But it's basically just a demo of how to use Cryptomatic. And again, there are some more complex settings that would probably be uh, of use to you to study and try to play with and figure it out. So, But most of the Trojan wrappers that are out there work very similarly. Some offer different options, but they pretty much work the same way. So that was Cryptomatic, a demonstration of a Trojan wrapper.